are because you mentioned two or three. Okay, miss, got it. All right. Um, my name is Tisha Willett. I am from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I have a nine-year-old son. I'm a nurse by profession, and I transitioned to online nasal teaching so that I can have an ample time to take care of my son and at the same time work at a conference of my home. Like you, I like to travel. However, under the circumstance, we're not able to do so. Exactly. So to pass the time, I watch Netflix movies, do some gardening, read some good books. That's about me. Thank you. Thank you. That sounds and interesting all about you. Thank you. Uh, so are you. Okay. Well, today, you want to talk about the original materials conversation, right? Yeah. I want to talk about, uh, like, just uh, five minutes, uh, I want to just uh, have a smooth conversation. And after that, I will talk on some, like, topic, mm -hmm. something. Okay, so you just want to have a free conversation for the first 10 minutes or 15 or so. Like five minutes yeah. more. Like five minutes more, I will talk on like three minutes, like free talk. Okay. And which part of India do you live in? Uh, I live in New Delhi. New Delhi. It's, that's the capital of India, right? Exactly. Absolutely right. Okay, so... What's the condition now in New Delhi, India? About COVID? How is the situation about like? Co about yes. COVID? It's getting day by day mm -hmm. uh, better and better. Oh, that sounds good. Um, have you got the vaccines yet? Yeah, like, uh, like maybe more than two months. Uh, vaccination, vaccination, uh, uh, vaccine has come more than two months before. Vaccine has come. More than two months from now. Yeah. Okay. So the vaccine will arrive more than two months uh, already. from now. Yeah, I'm saying to you. Oh, it has already arrived. Already arrived two months ago. Oh, the vaccines have arrived. The vaccine has arrived. More than two months ago. More than two months ago. The vaccine has arrived more than two months ago. Right. So have oh, are you going to take your shot? Uh, or about asking question to you? Um, yes, I'm asking you a question. Are you going to get a shot or you prefer not to get a shot? Uh, you, can you please elaborate like uh, get a shot? What is this term? Oh, get a shot. So vaccines, we call that a shot because you get a shot on your shoulder. Okay, so, got it. Get a got shot. It. it is like <laughs> get a shot. Uh -huh. So get vaccinated. Do you want to get vaccinated? Uh, you know about uh, first like elder people will get a vaccine. When they will be completed by vaccine, then our turn is like youngster turn. Oh, so it's kind of, there's a list of priorities. Exactly. I get it. So, um, New Delhi sounds interesting. So what are the must-see places in New Delhi? If I ever come to New Delhi, where would you want to take me to? Uh, for, I would like to tell you two to three places. Uh, first one is a Red Fort. Red Fort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's in it? Uh, yeah, it is a type of uh, fort, and uh, it is in an ancient type of for fort. Like king also live in that, and uh, it is also famous now because no uh, on function like uh, Freedom Day function, Pradhan uh, PM of India also gives speech. On Red mm -hmm. Fort. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty historic place in India then. Exactly. Okay. And tell me about the must-try foods in New Delhi. Because each country, I mean each city in a country has their own cuisine, right? Yeah. So... For instance, New Delhi is famous for this type of cuisine. Uh, and other cities in India is famous for certain types too. Yeah, New what Delhi. What about New Delhi? Was it? Yeah, 
न्यू दिल्ली इज फेमस फॉर छोले भटूरे दैट इज अ टाइप ऑफ लाइक फ्लाफी फ्लाफी टाइप ऑफ ब्रेड समथिंग फ्लाफी लाइक डीप डीप इन फ्राई लाइक रिफाइंड फ्लोर रिफाइंड फ्लोर लाइक डीप इन फ्राई लाइक टाइप ऑफ चपाती समथिंग लाइक ब्रेड एंड आई हर दिनस इन इंडिया आर रियली डिलिशियस आई हैव नेवर बीन टू इंडिया सो डू यू कुक या आई कैन कुक लाइक सम सिंपल सिंपल थिंग्स नॉट लाइक कॉम्प्लिकेटेड आई कैन कुक लाइक इजीली मैगी एंड आई कैन मेक सम टाइप ऑफ सम टाइप ऑफ लाइक व्हाट आई से लाइक चार्ट ऑफ लाइक मिक्स फ्रूट फ्रूट मिक्स लाइक फ्रूट मिक्सेस या फ्रूट मिक्सेस आई कैन मेक एंड आई एम स्पेशलिस्ट ऑफ मेकिंग शेक्स डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ शेक्स आई कैन मेक ओके चूजिंग So you're looking to take the IELTS exam soon. Uh, exactly. I have to prepare for IELTS exam. Mm. Mm-hmm. So do you have any plans of going abroad? Yeah, I would like to go Australia or USA if it is possible then I will surely go to those two country. I'm sure it's possible but the question is when. So you may say when it is possible. when it I is would like uh, uh, when go, it is possible i would like to go to go to australia to australia or the united states united states exactly right so don't forget to use to for destinations australia is a destination or united states is a destination Exactly. And you always need to use an article with the United States. Exactly. Totally. Okay. So uh, there. So discussing attitudes toward food. You love food. Yeah. So in this lesson, we will practice answering um IELTS speaking part three. Exactly. Um learn the practice of different ways to talk about food and language for presenting both sides of an argument. Practice pronouncing um words um like C H and chin. Miss it. And G. Miss can you give me like a, a one minute for read this uh, like a conversation and then after that I would like to go directly on discussion. Okay. Okay I'm just reading this in a scheming way I will not take much of time All right so let's practice the words chin 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 miss I want to skip this practice I would like to read uh, I would like to read uh, this like a conversation and after that I would like to go directly on discussion Which conversations? The useful phrases. I, this one, just a minute. This one. All right. Okay. So, would you want to be the examiner, or would you do want to be Ling? Can you please uh, uh, write it down? This word. Sure. <clears throat> um, I will be the examiner. Yeah, you are the examiner, and. Uh, I am a test giver. 
Okay. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of having fast food restaurants in your local area? Uh, you know, first I will just read this and after that I will give you answer like it. Then I will give my real life answer, like honest answer. I am just want to All read right. this. You can also read okay. in that time. Go on. What are the advantages and disadvantages of having fast food restaurants in your local area? As a junk food addict, I think there are more benefits than drawbacks to having fast food outlet in my neighborhood. Hamburgers and fries are part of my staple diet. If I didn't have a McDonald's close to my apartment, I don't know what I would do. On the other hand, I suppose there are some negatives as well. Too much fast food isn't good for you. You can lead to weight issues. But to be honest, that's nothing compared to the joys of eating a Big Mac. Do you think people in your country generally make healthy food choices? Link. I would say people in my country generally eat better now than in the past, but there are still some unhealthy choices being made. For example, we know we know that many people eat food that is too high in sugar, don't eat enough fruit and vegetables. Examiner. Uh, how have people's attitude toward foreign food changed over the past few decades in your country? I think there have been many changes in attitude towards foreign food in my country. Some of these are positive and some negative. In the past, it was quite difficult to get food from other country in China, but that has all changed now. Foreign food is quite popular nowadays. This is good because it has ex exposed people to different cuisines, but, is, but it also has some drawbacks because some of it, like the food from cuisines, uh, but cuisines I'll get back to it it just continue reading but it also has some drawbacks because some of it like the food from fast food outlets is high in fat and sodium so it's uh, unhealthy all right I want to go back to these words please say unhealthy healthy unhealthy unhealthy good and healthy healthy okay unhealthy 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 okay now i'm hearing a t earlier on i was hearing a voice th it's supposed to be a non-voice th 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 and healthy healthy I think that's something that you need to practice on in your own time, okay? Sure. Um, check out. Healthy. Healthy. About. Healthy. No, no that's a voice teach. Okay, do the S sound. Do that. And then slip your tongue in between your front teeth. While doing the S sound still. That sound that you can hear, that's the sound I'm looking for. Exactly. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Can you try that? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Un Good. That's better. Better. And I need you to improve on V sound. Have. How. V. V. v Have. How. How. Okay, well, it's a little better, but it's not perfect. Let's try this word. Disadvantages. Disadvantages. V, v. Disadvantages. Disadvantages. Okay. So you just need to polish it on your own time. Next word is cuisines. Qui. Qui. Cuisines. Cuisine. Cuisines. Cuisines. Good. All please, right. Can so you please you, uh, refresh it again because it's fridge. Sorry? It's fridge. Oh, I'm the, not able to see your the, video. It's frozen. Okay. Okay. Is it better? Yeah, it's better than before. 
I think. The they can't see the material anymore. Okay, let me just try and go back. So, let's answer the questions, and then you said you would like to deliver your own answer. Sure. So, Miss, I would like to listen from your side also. Like, there is a country difference, like everything, like thinking difference. I would like to your uh, review, like also. like Hear my opinion. Your opinion also. You'd like to hear my opinion, okay. So... Oh, I can't see the material anymore. Um, all right, so what are the advantages and disadvantages of having fast food restaurants in your local area? You know about uh, uh, advantage about uh, fast food, you can eat like uh, any convenient time. If you have not uh, like... Uh, you can go uh, there like every time because they are 24 hour available. Mm -hmm. And what about the disadvantages? What about the disadvantages? You know about this type of like food is full of like a junky type of and they are putting uh, oil and uh, these are not good for our like everyday health. If we consume everyday oil uh, like, a, like a much oil everyday then it is not... A, gonna be better for health if you take more than need if you take more than need then it's not uh, we will uh, get uh, like fatty we will become like we will get obesity obesity okay yes that's so true all right so in my opinion one of the advantages of having fast foods around is to eliminate uncertainty and it, uh, it offers better dining experience. On the other hand, uh, just like what you said, it is more convenient because it's easily accessible food. Exactly. On the other hand, though, it brings some disadvantages. Like what you said, most of the fast food, fast food chain foods are unhealthy. And so it could promote obesity among people. And it could encourage laziness among people. But people no longer want to cook healthy food because there is fast food chains just close by. And so um, there should be a limit to the number of times that you would uh, take some fast food. food. Totally. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next question. I can't find it. Yeah, oh, there point. it is. Just a minute. Mm, I think you got it. Here you go. All right, so the second question goes, do you think people in your country generally make healthy food choices? Exactly. You know about uh, where I'm living, like uh, some states are in India who are like much health conscious, like uh, Haryana, like Rajasthan, their type you can say eat like a, like Punjabi also they take take like a, a energy and like health conscious food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know about uh, like just due to like a Western culture, uh, like uh, like uh, also like Chinese cuisine is become much popular in, in India. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, like uh, uh, there are some type of like uh, burger. They eat much more like chow mein, uh, momos, mm -hmm. yeah, like uh, every day when they like uh, youngster hang out outside, they, they uh, want to eat every day like uh, this burger, uh, like chow mein, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that's not uh, good for their health, they will become like fatty and uh, uh, for it's not, uh, it is not good for their metabolism also. So pretty much it's influenced by foreign food. Exactly. Okay. Um, as for me, on the other hand, I think most people in my country want to choose healthy eating. However, they don't really have that much time to prepare their food every day because everything is so hectic 
and they'd have to get to work early in the morning and come home late. And in order for their, in order to feed their families on time, they would just prefer to get a takeout from certain restaurants. Now, some people, though, take the time to prepare good food. And um, I think recently, more and more people are having um, enough healthy food in their homes because most people work from home and they have much time to prepare. They save the time of going to and coming from work. And because of that, they're able to prepare good food for their families. But if it if if were just ordinary days, then I don't think that people will be eating healthy. Absolutely, that makes a sense. Okay, let's check the next question. Oh, I can't see it. Can just, you see the material? Just a minute. It will take a little bit time for loading. All right. All right, so the next question goes, how have people's attitudes towards foreign food changed over the past few decades in your country? Uh, about uh, uh, nowadays it is so changed about uh, food like uh, they think like uh, foreign food is also like healthy food. Uh, like uh, they eat like Manchurian, like rice, like Chinese food also, like they eat Singaporean. You can say they e eat nowadays like foreign international food. Like it is become common in like every restaurant in India. Okay, so in the old days, we were just stuck with eating American food, which is mostly unhealthy, but also some of it are healthy, just like uh, whole meat, um, whole milk, lesser ice cream, and those sort. However, knowing that America is a diverse country, there's a variety of food that you can choose from. And because of that, people want to try new things every now and then. So I think people have been eating more various foods recently as compared to before. Because more and more new restaurants spring, especially because uh, uh, we are a diverse country. And more and more people coming from different countries come to our country and um, choose restaurants of their own liking. Absolutely. Uh, there are like option available. You have to choose like from many things. There is not only one dish or cuisine. You have many options. Exactly. All right. So do you want to go over um, the questions underneath to check your understanding? Sure, sure. Um, okay. But I don't think we've really went through the dialogue practice. Um, do you want to go to the useful languages instead? Uh, I want to go th this question, which are like, if you could only eat one cuisine for the rest of your life, what would you choose and why? Okay, uh, so can you answer the question, please? Sure, like if I have to uh, eat every day, th there is a one food I would like to uh, take prantha. Okay, if I could eat just one food, was what you said, or one cuisine every day, I would choose the dot. So remember what I told you about the word order? It should be if I could just eat one food every day if I instead could of... If I could eat, just eat food every day. I would choose the I, dot. I would choose prantha. Okay, better answer. I'll see you next time. Bye now. Sure, miss. Well, have a wonderful day.